I'm going to start today's webinar. I'm handing over to Victoria. Victoria, introduce your fantastic webinar. Thank you, Sarah. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, so we are so excited. We're going to tell you all about the amazing destination of Turks and Caicos. And we've got some fabulous hotels with us today as well. So you will be hearing today from Anuska, who is from the Turks and Caicos collection and Ambergris K Resort and Private Island. Uh, we've also got Lee from Beaches, from Sandals and Beaches, who's gonna tell you all about the amazing Beaches property in um, Turks and Caicos. And also David is on the call, who's gonna tell you all about Wayamara Resort and Villas as well. And then also on the call today, we have got Trina Adams from Experience Turks and Caicos, who is our new Chief Marketing Officer. And also on the call, we have got Raquel Brown, who some of you may know. Uh, Raquel is also experienced Turks and Caicos, and she is the Interim Chief Executive Officer. So Raquel is just going to say a few words um, to start us off today, and then I'm going to give you a presentation on the destination, and then the hotels will be able to give you a presentation on each of their properties as well. So Raquel, I will hand over to you. Good morning. Uh travel leaders, I just want to say travel advisors, everyone that's in the travel industry. Um, thank you for taking part in this uh, first My Booking Rewards webinar that we're having to share with you what we consider our little heart of the Caribbean and it's very special and it's very unique. Um, we're overwhelmed that we've had over 300 uh, travel agents or tour operators sign in, whether you're independent or you work with a tour operator. We're so excited to have you here. Um, you know, the Turks and Caicos Islands um, is a multi-island destination, and we want to share with you all that we have to offer from our barefoot luxury to our wealth in history and our culture and our culinary offerings. So I really thank um, our properties that are here with us today. Um, Blue Haven, Beaches, and also Waimara. Um, we really have a lot to share with you. And at this time, I will hand it back over to Sarah. Super, thank you very much, Raquel. Great introduction. And yes, we have got a lot and lot of agents that have come just to see you and your team um, and supporting Turks and Caicos. So I'm gonna hand back to Victoria. Um, over to you, Victoria, to introduce your next speaker. Thank you. So I'm actually going to share my screen now, and I'm hoping that everybody can see the presentation. So this is our destination presentation. So I'm going to take you through this. I can just move that up slightly. There we go. So hopefully everyone can see um, Experience Turks and Caicos. So I'm, as I say, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview of the destination. And Whenever I'm talking to travel agents or travel advisors, one of the first things they always say to me is, why would I book Turks and Caicos for my clients? Um, what makes it stand out? What makes it special? And I would always say that if you have clients that like, uh, for example, the Maldives, or if you have clients that potentially that like to book the west coast of Barbados, then you definitely have clients for Turks and Caicos because the beaches in Turks and Caicos are absolutely stunning they're incredible beaches amazing diving fabulous clear waters and if you have clients that like to be able to go out in the evening and try lots of different restaurants fine dining restaurants um, fish fry um, kind of gourmet street food then we have an amazing um, culinary experience waiting for you in Turks and Caicos as well so the, the destination of Turks and Caicos is an archipelago of 40 different islands and keys. So really you can, you can go and do a single destination or you can take advantage of this and you can do a twin center um, and, and mix some of the islands together and have two different experiences. Or you could even do day tours and go and spend time on a beach where you feel like you are the only people in the world on that beach. So I'm gonna go through and showcase a little bit of that throughout the presentation. But first of all, I want to talk about how you can get there. So for those of you on the call from the UK um, and also the European market, um, we're so excited that last November Virgin Atlantic launched their uh, non-stop direct service into Provincialis. So that's twice a week um, from London. And of course, we always have had historically our two flights on British Airways. So they're really easy flights to use as well. They do stop down 
down in Nassau, but you don't get off the plane. So you don't have to change. You don't have to get, get your luggage and recheck it in. So there are four very seamless ways to reach Turks and Caicos from the UK um, hubs each week. And of course, that nicely um, leads in for the European market as well. Although the European market also do like to use some of the routes that go through the US. And for anyone on the call today from the US, just as a reminder for you how easy it is to get to Turks and Caicos, you've got so many different um, airlines coming in. And I mean, for example, for New York, it's an hour and 20 minutes. So even those on the on the call from the UK, if you did have clients that are maybe looking to do a twin center, and I talked to agents a lot who are, who are trying to twin maybe Florida and Disneyland, and then they want to do a week on a beach, then it's a great option as well, because you can come straight back to the UK, obviously, on one of the flights that we have. So when you arrive in um, Provincialis in Turks and Caicos, especially for those high end clients, you do want to know that we do have things like a fast track service, a VIP meet and greet service. Um, the, those high end resorts that we have will all offer um, a, a VIP luxury transfer service as well, but that is something that is available. There's a VIP lounge as well for your clients. And of course, um, a lot of clients like to come into Turks and Caicos and hire a car. And we do have all the, the um, traditional and international car hire companies that you would expect in any destination. So there are, it's very easy to fly into Turks and Caicos. And once you arrive in Turks and Caicos, it's easy to have that very seamless transfer uh, for your clients to their resorts. So I just wanted to talk about the beaches. I do actually have a tiny, tiny little bit of Turks and Caicos sand, which I take back every time I go and, and let it meet its, its other sand friends. Um, so it's, it's looked after very well, but it's just to show how white this sand is and how soft this sand is. I mean, you can see from the pictures here, it's absolutely incredible. And I mean, Grace Bay Beach in Provin Provincialis has actually been voted the best beach in the world, I think eight years running, and it's not even the best beach in Turks and Caicos. You know, the beaches are just amazing. So if you do have clients that want that incredible white sand, crystal clear waters and lots of beaches that they can go to, not just necessarily the beach that their property is situated by, but people, you know, you will see hotels have bikes that um, clients get on and they cycle around the island and the, the bikes are just kind of abandoned at the entrance to the beaches where they've gone for a picnic and just to explore a little bit. So there are so many amazing beaches. And then obviously the islands. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of the islands and perhaps reasons to explore beyond Provo as well. So we'll start our journey today in Provo because this is where the international flights come in. It's a very easy island to explore. It's easy to hire a car and drive around Provo. And this is actually one of our, uh, one of our hoteliers took this photograph as she was landing in Provo. So this is the scene that would first meet your clients on arrival. Now, when we talk about Provo and we talk about the accommodation, and we are really lucky today because we've got some fabulous hotel partners on the call with us, but in Provo, we actually have eight virtuoso properties. So that just gives you an idea of the level of the standard of the accommodation in Turks and Caicos. Um, some of these you will, you will recognize the brands of, some are more independent and locally owned. But of course, we do have other partners as well. We have lead-in properties like Ports of Call in Provo, which is a great hotel where you can use it as a base to go and explore, and it's on a much, much lower price point. We also have amazing villas throughout Turks and Caicos as well. So there really is something for everyone. When you're in Provo and you want to go out and eat, there are lots of amazing places to go. Coco Bistro is one of our beautiful fine dining restaurants. If you do have clients that want to eat at some of the fine dining restaurants, I would really recommend that you use the resort concierges because you need to book some of these restaurants up in advance because they do get booked up sometimes two or three months out. Um, if your clients don't always want to go for that high-end meal price, um, Coco Bistro, across from Coco Bistro, they have something called Coco Van, which is the image on the top of the screen, which is fabulous kind of gourmet street food. And when I was there last, I ate for about 20 US dollars. Um, I had a glass of wine and a couple of wraps and I was able to swap out the different tastes and flavors. And it was a, it's a really nice, cool vibe, really chilled, relaxed. They have an amazing Italian. I'm going to move. I don't know if you guys can see this on your screen, but I'm going to move this down so you can see some of the other images here as well. Um, great Italian restaurant right in Grace Bay as well. So lots of places to go. And one of my favorites actually is called The Farm, 
which is a really unique restaurant. It's a vegan restaurant and it's actually part of Seven Stars. And this, again, a lot of the time when we think about going to restaurants, we would avoid hotel restaurants because we we have this impression that they, they don't have the atmosphere. But certainly in, in, um, in Turks and Caicos, that isn't the case. The hotels make such a huge effort in making sure that the restaurants have so much ambience. They often have live music, fire pits, fairy lights, toes in the sand. So it's really lovely. And the fire Farm at the Seven Seas Hotel is amazing. It's it's all vegan. The food is really beautiful. The farm itself is actually over 320 square foot of space. So it's not a huge farm. Um, it's not kind of probably what you're imagining when you hear the word farm. And they have 24 different varieties of greens. So that's a, that's a really lovely place to try. So lots of different places that your clients can eat out in. And also in that Grace Bay area, there's lovely cafes. Uh, Lemon to Go is my favorite cafe, but there's lovely gift shops, there's jewelry shops, there's art galleries. So it's really a place where you can just mooch around for a couple of hours and really enjoy um, the the different options uh, for your clients. Outside of Provo itself, sorry, outside of Grace Bay itself, but still within Provo, we also have something called the Kong Shack. So that's more somewhere if somebody has a car that they would hire, they would drive down here. And it's a really lovely spot by the beach where you can people watch, they have live music. Again, that beautiful kind of toes in the sand vibe. So lots to do. Now, if your clients wanted to leave Provo for um, a, a twin centre holiday or if they want to go for a day, then there are lots of different ways you can do this. We have lots of different partners. So, for example, Caribbean Cruising will take you. They have they run the ferry between Provo and um, North Caicos, which kind of has a causeway onto Middle Caicos. Then we have Privé Fine Yachts and Cruises, which have a huge array of different um boats they have speed boats they have yachts they have catamarans they have all the toys that you'd want so again you could use that for a day or you could have them take you over to a different island um, we have Caicos Express Airways and this is a lovely flight that goes over to Grand minute flight from um from there over to um, Grand Turk. And then also Inter-Caribbean is one of the other airlines. So you have different choices. There's, there's plenty of choices of how you can get to, um, to the different islands. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about Grand Turk a little bit more. So Grand Turk is obviously, it's known as the capital. Um, it's where the cruise ships come in as well. So it has two kind of sides to it. Um, it has the area where the cruise ships are. And here you have gift shops, you have Margaritaville, if you want to do a bit more of that kind of party scene for the afternoon. Um, there's also duty-free shopping, uh, lots of places to eat within that cruise port as well. Um, and then outside of the cruise port, it's actually where the world's third largest reef is. So amazing diving, great snorkeling as well. And you can snorkel. There are some snorkeling points from Grand Turk. And also we have uh, the humpback whales migrate throughout the year. So from January to April, the humpback whales will be coming through and going back. So that's an amazing tour to do. For, so again, you could layer so much into a holiday to Turks and Caicos so that you're booking your clients activities and excursions and experiences that they wouldn't necessarily be able to get somewhere else. Um, Grand Turk also, if we come out of the cruise area and the water for a moment, um, there's a lot of historical um, areas of Grand Turk as well. For example, we have a very historical lighthouse, which is an area you can go up to um, and see. And there's also um, Governor's Beach, which is a really lovely area uh, where a lot of people will come and just spend some time, uh, which is right by the Governor's House. Um, and there's um, there was also the uh, John Glynn ex exhibition. So um, the um, astronaut from America whose spaceship actually landed or, um, into the ocean in the vicinity of Grand Turk. And so they bought parts of that back. And so that's another exhibition that you can go and see as well. So there's quite a lot of things on this island. But outside of that, the vibe that you get from this island is very kind of quintessentially British. It's not big hotels, it's small inns and guest houses 
condos where you can just have one or two bedrooms um, and you really can make make this a very intimate stay if you wanted to come and spend a couple of days here and of course they have the wild donkeys on Grand Turk as well which I think are gorgeous um, so and a great photo opportunity so um, Grand Turk has got an awful lot to offer for your clients if they want to come and spend a few days here and twin it somewhere with somewhere else. Now, if we go back to North and Middle Caicos, so this was the ferry ride from Provo. The scenery here is incredible. Um, it's, it's far different from some of the scenery that you'll see in Provo. For example, Devil's Key, um, you can actually walk underneath um, this kind of cave that the erosion from the sea has created. Um, all these beautiful um, rocks and things, and it really does look stunning. Uh, there are companies on North and Middle Caicos where you can hire electric bikes and you can cycle around and, and it's somewhere where the pace feels lo a lot slower and you can just relax and breathe it all in. Um, and also it's very big on farming here, so you can actually go to a local farm and you can walk around and learn about the the different types of produce that is being created here so a lot of the food in the whole of um, Turks and Caicos is actually grown here and then exported from um, from North and Middle Caicos so really so so many different options for your clients and then also we have South Caicos now the images a lot of the images on this slide were actually um, gifted to us from one of the hotels down there, which is called Salt Rock, which is an amazing um, property, sorry, Sail Rock, which is an amazing five-star luxury property. Um, but this is a really renowned area for fishing. So if you have clients that wanted to come and spend a few days and maybe do some fishing, um, we have the flamingos down here as well um, as North and Middle Caicos. Um, it's great for paddle boarding, it's great for kayaking, it's great for um, kite surfing. So is, this is a really lovely area for your clients to be able to twin maybe with one of the other islands within the Turks and Caicos. So I wanted to just finish off or well, before I, I um, give over to the hotels, I just wanted to let you know as well that as a destination, and I'm sure you would have picked up from all of these amazing different um, opportunities that your client would have. It's a real world class destination and it has won so many awards as well. Um, Travel and Leisure's World of the Best Awards. It's won Condé Nast Traveller Reader's Choice Awards. US Today, it's won um, awards from there as well. So it really is an award winning destination. And after I hand um, over to the hotels and they're gonna take you through some of their properties, when we come back, we're gonna watch a short video as well. And just to say any of the images that you're seeing in my presentation and the video are available for you to be able to use in any of your own marketing as well. So if you guys did want to do some marketing, then um, then that that's something as well. And also, um, I know that we have got some prizes. We've got three um, Amazon gift card vouchers to give away. So we will be asking some questions. So hopefully um, at the end, you'll you'll be able to answer a couple of questions as well. Um, so I am going to stop sharing and I'm going to hand over to Anishka, who is going to tell you all about her lovely properties. Good morning, everyone. I'm Anushka, representing today the Turks and Caicos collection and the beautiful Amber Grisky. So, Victoria, if you allow me, I'll share my screen. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, let me know when you can see my screen. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we've got the Turks and Caicos collection under which we have two phenomenal resorts, the Blue Haven and the Alexandra Resort. So both of them located on the main island, the Providencialis, and Alexandra located on the renowned Grace Bay, as mentioned by Victoria, which has been voted like really best of the best uh, uh, beaches in the world. So I'll just um, move forward with the key selling point of both resorts. So we sell both properties, the Alexandra and the Blue Haven, as luxury all-inclusive resorts because uh, they are both offering like really affordable rates and giving to our customers like good experience and dining experience and as well accommodation possibilities. So 
you will see as the key, key, key selling features, our guests can enjoy up to six dining options and bars. So the reason is that we offer to all guests staying at Alexandra or the Blue Haven the possibility to move around. So both hotels are all, all inclusive. And if you're staying at Blue Haven, you can go and dine at Alexandra. Or if you're staying at Alexandra, you can do vice versa. So this really gives you the opportunity to really uh, go and explore some other restaurants that are not included in your hotel. And as well, you have the possibilities to enjoy the facilities of both hotels. So in terms of accommodation, we offer beachfront and oceanfront suites coming from one, like starting with one bedroom accommodation and going up to four bedrooms accommodations. And all of the accommodations that we've got, they are equipped with a fully equipped kitchen. We have uh, a stock fridge with water, soft drinks and beers. And you have as well the washer and dryer facilities. So which is good for guests coming and staying over with us for a longer period of time. So at both of these hotels, the kids stay, play and eat for free. So if they are under 12, so they, are, they do not have, they do not incur any charges and they stay complimentary under the meal plan basis of the parents. So we have as well something very uh, amazing, which is called the 24 hour stack stations. So these are like stations which are open to the guests 24 hours. So if you want, to, if we have a guest want to go out, I don't know, midnight and want to have consumed something. So we have snacks, sandwiches and light bites available for these guests like 24 hours. So as well, we have the non-motorized water sport, the fitness center and the elevated spa. And the next one that we have is the Amber Grisky. So Amber Grisky is sold as a luxury private island experience. So this is not on the main island of the Providentialist. So to get there, you have to take a private plane. So there are two options to get to Amber Grisky. So one of them is like charting a private plane on your own, or it's the commercial flight landing into Providentialist. And from there, we take you to our own private airport, which is the Atlantic Aviation. And from there, you take a complimentary flight of 20 minutes to get to Amber Grisky. So you will see here the, all of the benefits that you have for booking the Amber Grisky. So you have an all-inclusive private island resort of 1,100 1, acres, and which is still quite undeveloped, I would say, with very few villas that we have. So it's really like getting into... Um, Getting, embracing the duality of like restfulness and effort. So it's like getting to somewhere where you can embrace that solitude as well as interconnectedness while being able to disconnect and reconnect on your own. So when you're booking the Amber Grisky, we're offering the complimentary round trip flights from Providential List back to the hotel and back to the airport. You have included two restaurants and two bars and the room service. So Amber Grisky is sold and all inclusive as well. But this one is a five-star luxury, all-inclusive that we have. So we have no uh, no menu here at the restaurant. Every day it's a, it's a new it's a new um, chef uh, chef design uh, menu that we would give to our, to our guests. So we have nothing like really customized and and set. So in terms of accommodation, we've got seventeen beachfront bungalows and we have eight multi-bedroom villas. So I'll just go through the complementary activities that we've got over here. So we have all of the non-motorized water sport included. We have a hangover tiki bar, which is one of the highlights of the hotels. So we take the guests out in the middle of the sea. We have, our, we have our own open bar and the guests can choose to relax and chill for like two or three hours over there. We have the fitness pavilion under a very nice setup. We, have, we do bone fishing, guided nature tour, e-bike tours, beach, bonfire, etc., which are all included. As paid activities, we have the private reef and deep sea fishing, scuba diving, whale watching, picnic sunset cruises, where we have really amazing views on this side. Lobster and conch diving, private bonfire. So just giving you a glimpse of the restaurant that we have. So they are all in an open seating setup and seatings where our guests can really enjoy the breathtaking views that the resort offers. And this is the Calico pool. So we've got just one pool here at the resort because all of the suites and the villas, they offer their own private pool at the hotel. 
the spa. So we have two couple massage room and two single massage room in a breathtaking settings, like really facing the ocean. And most of the guests prefer to go with the sound of the waves and, and the breeze, the natural breeze, and not really uh, any other kind of music. So in terms of accommodation, just go, taking you quickly through the villa. So we have seven beachfront bungalows offering an ocean view from all of the villas. All of them come with the bathroom, outdoor shower, and island host. And we have two bedroom beachfront villas as well with their own private infinity heated pool. And we come to the eight multi-bedroom oceanfront and ocean view villas that we have. So this one is the six bedroom villas that we have. It's the largest that we have on the island, which comes with their own private chef, private butler, the bedrooms, bathrooms, ocean fronts, and outdoor shower. So I end it here, and if you have any questions, please, please feel free to revert to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anuska. That looks absolutely stunning. Um, so we are going to go now over to um, to David at Waimara, if David is, is there, and then he can showcase his fabulous properties as well. Okay, can you hear me? Perfect, okay. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. I'm gonna talk to you about Waimara Resort and Villas, assuming I can get the machine to work for me. I start off as always with a little geography lesson. Um, I don't need to cover flights, Victoria did that very well. So you look at my lovely map and you can see a blue squiggly line right down the middle. At the top is Waimara Resort, directly on Grace Bay. And at the bottom are the Waimara Villas, which I'll come to later in the presentation. But they're about a six minute drive on a Friday evening at five o'clock during rush hour and about four minutes during the rest of the day. And up in the big red is really the town of Grace Bay where most of the resorts, uh, the Grace Bay resorts are found. So as you can see, we're about a 20 minute walk up the beach or five minutes in a taxi. And this is what you look out to. The colors of the water on Grace Bay seem to change by the moment. It's, it's one of the most impressive I've seen in a very long time. The two blocks you're seeing, they're our main accommodation blocks. And then this is very large part why people are coming to the Turks and Caicos. It is the beach, it is the waters. It's very safe swimming. It's uh, it's great for families. Uh, where uh, Waimara is located, as you're looking out to the water, on our left-hand side, it's villas all of the way to the end. So this is very much the quietest part of the beach. And the picture you're looking at has not been taken at six o'clock in the morning. It's pretty much what it looks like all day long. Uh, so we have the pool, we have the four uh, pool cabanas. These you can uh, hire for the day and there is a charge, it's $130 but we do throw in a complimentary bottle of rosé, which if you were to look at the wine menu, you would coincidentally find that actually it also costs $130. Uh, it's just, otherwise what you tend to find is people put the towels on first thing in the morning and it remains empty all day. This way, if you're serious about a sunbed, um, you get to use it all day. The accommodation, I'm not going to run through, but what I'll perhaps do is share with you more in depth. Um, but our accommodation for the the Brits and the UK, uh, the European guests, where I use the term studios, I would suggest think junior suites instead. Um, there, there's a different sort of connotation between US and, and Europe with, with that definition. 
But what you can actually see with the rooms, they're all very similar in this sort of uh, low key style, lots of woods, lots of white, uh, very comfortable, very spacious. And we've got a range of different studios, uh, all with the different views. And then we have our one, two and three bedroom suites. The suites all have bathtubs. The baths are always in the bedroom and they always fill from the ceiling. So no one has to worry about having the tap end. The other advantage, especially if you're coming to stay with us, is all of the suites have washer dryers and soap powder. So you can do all of your washing before you come home. We have four penthouses, uh, unsurprisingly, at the top of the building on the fifth floor. These are really spacious. And if you're ever uh, faced with a, a family of six looking to see, should they do the three bedroom suite? Should they do the penthouses? For the extra couple of hundred dollars, do the penthouses. They're massive. They are really well furnished. Uh, incredible views out, as you can see. And again, you notice the style of the accommodation. It remains the same. And this is what I mean about the views. And you can do in-room dining as well. I'm going to skip over now to the, the villas. And we have a range of one, four and five bedroom villas, four one bedrooms. And there's seven, a total of seven, four and five bedroom villas. Uh, they're in Sunset Cove. There's on-demand shuttle for guests who want to go over to the resort. We, re we restrict people coming from the resort down to the villas just because it, it's a smaller space. Uh, and I'll start on the one bedrooms. These are very much for those loved up couples who can't get enough of each other, um, but definitely not for traveling with the family. Taking a look at the insides and then the outsides. And this is, for me, what it's about. You've got your pool, you've got your, your, your sun loungers, and you've got the views. If you're going to have a villa, why don't you have it with a water slide? These are so much fun. I, did, I didn't realize, I always thought, yeah, not going to take too much notice. Well, I can tell you, I've tried it. It's fun. You still get water up your nose when you hit the water at the sea. Um, but if you don't choose one of the three with the water slides, uh, they all have that sort of deck where you can jump into the water from. So inside, again, similar in style to, to what you've seen over in the resort. Um, bedrooms, again, similar in style. The pool and then the second pool. Bruce, who's the, the actual owner of the resort, when he was building these villas, and he's got a history of construction in Australia, he realized the way the sun was and realized that he could put a pool at the front, pool at the back. So if you were traveling with family and you wanted to keep the kids in the shade the whole time, you could do it. You would just literally, as the sun comes over the building, you would just walk through and out to the other pool. So that's the reason for two pools. When you get into that sort of January, February season, um, the Turks is in the north of the Caribbean. So it's still 28, 29 during the day. But in the evening, it sort of creeps down to sort of 22, 23 degrees, which, of course, we're all perfectly happy with. But once you've had the sort of 28s during the day, you might think about a cardigan or you might just think about grabbing a couple of bottles of wine, a group of friends and sitting around the fire pit. It, it's quite fun. All of our villas come with a villa concierge who will do everything to make the stay great, whether it's organising chefs, uh, organising shuttles, excursions, boat trips, uh, whatever you want, they can do. And then for me, the thing that really sets apart our villas, and it's the Sunset Cove Beach Club. And the facilities include tennis courts, pickleball, basketball, um, we have length pools, table tennis, uh, pool, you name it. There's a sauna, there's a jacuzzi, and there's a fully equipped gym. So all of the activities and, and very much the thinking behind this is if you if you have a family who are coming and traveling, you know, perhaps with sort of uh, older teens, it's a great opportunity for dad to connect with sons or daughters or vice versa around the sports 
or for the kids to to actually just meet other kids down in this environment so it's all there for them but for me the best bit is the ocean pool this is the very first ocean pool in the caribbean although i'm sure leo's going to tell me that sandals have plans for another four or five but at the moment it is the only one comes with a tiki hut so you can get all of the drinks you need um and also food so it's all there if you want it Another thing we do at Waimara, which is quite unusual, at our beach at the resort and also here um, in, in Sunset Cove, we have complimentary sunscreen because we can all put our hand up to say we've forgotten the sunscreen when we've gone to the beach. So we've sort of taken out that worry and it's there for all of the guests to use. Back into the resort, we have a spa, three treatment rooms, two couples, uh, one single, uh, full range of treatments as you would expect yoga yeah we do all of that stuff um, and we have a whole range of uh, locally produced substances for the spa experience for me um, one of the best things is is the dining um, and and Victoria was alluding to earlier about how the hotels go out of their way when I was down there for the first time, I went into reception and it was rammed. And so I said to one of the receptionists, I said, oh, big arrival today. She goes, oh, no, no, those are just guests going through into Indigo. And it was all outside diners who were coming to eat with us that night. We have two uh, main restaurants. One is Blue Water Bistro. This is almost brand new. Uh, we do have the big umbrellas for the shade during the day but obviously they've been taken out for the picture um and at night they're taken away so you're under the stars um really good food um lots of different fish meat dishes as well uh at night time you can see a bit romantic and over to the left is our pink bar this is not because we're all in touch with ourselves but we used to have a pop-up bar serving pink champagne and rosé uh, and we just decided to make it a more of a permanent fixture. Really good atmosphere, um, gets busy, never noisy, um, but it's just good to see a crowd of people in enjoying the atmosphere. And the best thing is if you don't want to be drawn away from your drinks, you can actually have food here as well. They serve food in the pink bar. So it's a great option, especially on that first day when you arrive and you get to sort of six o'clock in the evening and you think you're going to collapse. You come here, a couple of drinks, something to eat, off to bed by seven, and then you're ready for your holiday. Uh, Indigo, this is our fine dining, both outdoors, which is what you're looking at, and also indoors, which has a vibe much closer to something like New York, Manchester, London, live music, uh, sit up bar. Um, it's, it's just a very nice space. We do weddings, we do them very well. Uh, if you have small groups, again, you know, sort of board meetings, again, we can handle all of that. And unless there's questions, that's everything from me. So thank you. Thank you so much, David. I think last time I was there, actually, Drake had just been into Indigo. So that's probably why it was so buzzing, because I think everyone goes down to see if they can see him. Um, so He's a permanent feature in the Turks, as yeah, you know. <laughs> he is. Yeah, I've, I've not met him yet. But yeah, I understand he's there a lot. It's one of his favourite places. So, um, so thank you so much, David, for that. And Lee, now over to you to tell us all about your fabulous property in um, Turks and Caicos. Thank you. I'm just going to share my screen. Can everybody see? Perfect. Thank you ever so much. Wow. Although, although we can see, but you're in the funny setup. So you might just need to go and play with your settings, your display settings. Ah, You've gone into that. You've got two two systems, I think. So it's showing um, very, yeah, a very strange setup. So going okay, to let me stop sharing and try again. Yeah. Let's try this one. Is that yeah. better? Yep. Super amazing. Thank you. Yay. Sorry. 
Thanks. Well, I'm based here in the UK and it's miserable, grey and cold. So where would I rather be? I'd rather be in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Thank you ever so much for inviting us. Um, I'm the Director of Sales based here in the UK and I'm here to talk about the most amazing resort, one of a kind, Beaches Turks and Caicos. And it is on that famous stretch of 12 mile powdery white sand known as Grace Bay. Um, this resort has evolved over the years and we now have five different villages that make up Beaches Turks and Caicos. When I joined the company many decades ago, we had one village, the Caribbean village that expanded to the seaside, the French village. We then added the Italian, we acquired Key West and right in the middle of the map there, you'll actually see our water park. Although David, I wouldn't mind trying that uh, slide down into the sea from your villa. I think you've got me there, but this is the most incredible resort. Once you fly from the UK, you arrive here late in the afternoon, five o'clock, you run straight down to the beach to catch the sunset, which is absolutely incredible. And as we've already mentioned, it is number one on TripAdvisor. So we're looking at the Key West Village here. We are an all-inclusive. We cater for everybody, families, singles, groups. And what's been really popular is multi-generational holidays. So grandparents going as families with their children. And the accommodation on the left-hand side that you're seeing Key West are our famous four bedroom villa suites, which take a family of 10, comes with butler service, all inclusive, and your very own private punch pool at the front. These get booked up years in advance. So I'm delighted to say that we actually sell three years in advance so that if you miss out on this Christmas, you can certainly look at next Christmas. But plenty of activities that are included, all your meals, your drinks, your snacks, your water sports, entertainment, even tipping is included in the cost of your holiday at Beaches, Turks and Caicos. Family fun abound, but if you don't have children, it's still a great place to go to chill out and relax on an all-inclusive basis. But what is there for families to see and do? Well, we're famous because we have the water park included with our own water slides, our very own surf simulator that you don't have to pay for, it's included. And for those of you that do have children, you know how difficult it is to tear them away from the water park to feed them at lunchtime. So we have four different food trucks around this area so you can quickly get some mac and cheese or lobster, uh, whatever you need, and then go to Curls and Swirls for the ice cream afterwards, and then you're back onto the water slides. But this is where you'll find me. I love the French village area. We have these amazing three bedroom suites, which do cater for larger families up to 16 because they're interconnecting and you're round by the French village pool. We have our swim up pool bars. We have all premium brand liquor, cocktails, mocktails, all included and unlimited. The pool area here is fantastic just to chill out and relax. But as I say, if you're looking for that wow factor, steer your guests towards the Key West Village. You've got quieter accommodation, more seclusion. There's an adults only pool, the sky bar for breakfast where you're looking out over Grace Bay. And David mentioned in the fire pits um, earlier, I can concur. Sometimes in winter, you'd rather just grab a bottle and a cardi and sit around the fire pit in the evening. So some of the other suites that we have, whether it be the one or the two bedroom, you can see the features and the facilities here. We can cater for any and all family sizes or just a couple, two people going down for a holiday or best friends together that are looking for a getaway as well as weddings. Fantastic opportunity because of the different locations. And we do a complimentary wedding package. Please just check our website if you need further information on that. I love to recommend Barefoot. You're down here on the beach, great for families. We have an option for breakfast, but I love this time of the day, just as the sun's setting, you know, having something to eat, and then you'll go off and watch the show or the entertainment. Now, if you have a family, our kids' camp is included with Sesame Street. So we take them from newborns all the way up to 17. Um, movie night in the pool, watching Finding Nemo as a family is a fantastic pastime. But you might want to go uh, baking cookies with Cookie Monster 
adventure or treasure hunting or meet any of the characters. We actually have a parade as well. And the Choo Choo Train goes around the resort every single week, as well as stage shows that we provide. But David, there's my picture of the fire pit. I'm doubling up here. I've got two of them right down by the Key West Village here. The view is stunning. You'll see in the distance of this photo that we've also got hammocks out there as well. So great for couples in love that just want to escape with a bottle of wine and chill out at the end of the holiday. And it is true, folks. We do actually show movies from the pool area. A lot of people don't believe this, but it's a great family thing to do early hours of the evening watching the films there. So it is a big resort. We are 758 rooms. We have over 20 different dining options, as well as the food trucks. We are premium brand liquor that we serve in the bars, in the restaurants. You can see all the full facilities here. Once you book and pay for your holiday, there's nothing more to pay for until you get down there. Because as you see, all tips, taxes, and gratuities are included, as well as our round trip airport transfers. Kids Camp is a fantastic selling point. And the water park is not just for the younger children. You'll see all the adults over there. But I've other, a couple of other key features to mention to you, scuba diving. If you're going to the Turks and Caicos, it is one of the number one diving locations in the world. We include scuba diving for qualified divers, and we have four Newton dive boats actually based at Beaches, Turks and Caicos. But plenty of other water sports activities there that you can see, from the Hobie Cats, the snorkeling, the canoes. For the children, the Xbox Play Lounges is very good. Night and daytime tennis, as well as the fitness centers, and free Wi-Fi throughout. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about our resort, just log on to the website. On the very first page, there is a link to a six minute video, which absolutely covers everything. Also, we have something called the Sandals Palmcast, which is a podcast. There is an epi episode on there that's an hour long. I encourage you, if you want to know more about how we look after our families and children on the spectrum, as we are the character Caribbean's first certified autism centre. Um, so log on to the Sandals Palmcast. Can't remember what episode it is, but just drop me an email, leah.marshall at sandals.co.uk, and I will happily help anybody uh, that has any queries, regardless of what market you're in. I can see that we have global travel agents from across the world, although my market is UK. Happy to point you in the right direction. All of our global markets have a travel agency hub where you can download videos, where you can download the resort fact sheets, get all the contact information. Um, I'm limited to five minutes, so I think I've probably gone over it slightly. But thank you so much for your time today. It's been wonderful to chat to you and good luck. We'll see you at Beaches, Turks and Caicos. Oh, thank you so much, Lee. That was absolutely amazing. And I've been to your property and I've walked through all of the different um, villages and I really liked the look of the uh, the water park actually myself. So maybe you and I should should go and try it out um, and then we can go over to David's as well. Um, yeah. So, OK, so I'm just going to share my screen again. And I did promise that I would just play a video. I've got a short video that I'm going to play for you, um, which is just over a minute long. But as I say, I do have a longer version. So this is, if you want any of the these um, videos or images, then we can definitely uh, send all of this to you in the follow-up. So this is really just a little bit to finish up on and just take you over to Turks and Caicos. <laughs> Someone asked me, you know, where are you from? I said, I'm from Turks and Caicos. Oh, where is that? So I had to explain that we are southeast of the Bahamas. It's an hour and 20 minutes from Miami. But, oh, okay, we need to get down there. When you arrive in Turks and Caicos, you're in a place where you can relax. So that was our, our shorter video. Um, the other thing that I wanted to, I'll just stop sharing as well, because I wanted to just let you know as well, we have this uh, wonderful coffee table book. Actually, it's not going to probably show because I've got a background on, but I have a wonderful coffee coffee ta um, table book and I've actually got a QR code. So what I can do in the follow up is share the QR code and then you'll be able to download that as well, which has got loads of information on the destination. 
Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, we have got some, um, some prizes to give away. Anushka actually has a prize. So I will let Anushka tell you about her prize. And we also have three um, Amazon vouchers, three £50 Amazon vouchers. So I've got three questions. Um, hopefully Sarah will be able to do the fastest finger for me um, on those questions. I'm here. So shall we do it as we always do, where we put everybody that's on the webinar gets a prize draw entry and then the person that answers the fastest finger, they get the 10 entries and then we put them all in the wheel tomorrow. It's going to be a big wheel. Um, we've got a lot of people. So is that yeah. okay? Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Um, if I just ask, Anushka, do you have a question that you can ask um, from your presentation for your prize? I've put you on the spot now, but I can, if you think about it while I ask the yeah. three questions I've got for the three yeah, for sure. pound Amazon vouchers, and then you can think about your question and then tell everyone about the prize and ask the question. So my okay. first question is- Okay, just, just let us make sure that everybody's gone to chat. So make sure okay. that you chat and you drop down says everyone. And it is literally the fastest finger with the correct answer that gets the 10 points. So over to you. Sorry, Victoria. OK, no, thank you. Right. So the first question is, how many islands and keys are there in? Oh, look at that. So many people already on the. That's amazing. <laughs> OK, so <laughs> I'm, I'm presuming that the correct answer may be around 40. Yes, it is exactly 40. Yeah, so that's good. OK, so it was Uvashi, who was the first person. So just write in your name. There we go. So you've got your 10 points. Okay, perfect. So my second question, now we, we this is a bit freestyle. So I just want you to name one of the islands outside of Provo that you can go to if you come to Turks and Caicos. Okay, so scrolling right the way back up, um, the... There we go. I think Holly <laughs> might have been the first one with Grand Turk. Okay, we had, yeah, Holly said Grand Turk. Is that a yep. correct? Yeah, so Grand Turk is one of the islands that, that, that you would fly to to get to. So, yeah. So and then my... 10 points. Okay, so my final question, and this is more for the, for well, anyone can answer it, but it's more for the UK um, agents in mind just to remember. So... Um, which airline has two non-stop direct flights per week? Oh, you've confused me now. <laughs> so I know it's one of two. Um, and yeah, No, Cindy got it. That was right. So Virgin Atlantic has two non-stop flights and British Airways has two flights that touch down in Nassau. Perfect. But well done. That was amazing. Everybody's, I'm so impressed. Super amazing. Thank you, everybody. Anushka. Yes, right. So Do we are flying tonight at the Alexandra Resort. So my question would be, name the other resort guests can visit and play at while staying at the Alexandra Resort. Okay, so it's going to be crazy again. So we've got, uh, let me scroll back up to the very, very top. Tashi has said the Blue Haven. Is yeah. that the correct answer? Yeah, that's right. That's Blue Haven. Perfect. And what what prize is on offer from from yourself? So we've got two nights stay at the Alexandra at, at the Alexandra Resort on all inclusive basis. Wow! Yeah, and it's a lovely, really lovely all inclusive property. It is. Mm. It is. It's really good. Super amazing. So we will let you know um, the winners tomorrow. I will, I will send everything over to Victoria um, and she will have all of the details. She will do a follow up, send the recording to all of you that have registered. Um, thank you massively to all of you that have attended. We've had a heck of a lot of agents today. It's been super amazing from all over the world. So we thank you for that. As you've discovered, Turks and Caicos are completely trade friendly. They want to work with you. Um, so if you need anything, you've got a team here now, let them know any questions. And um, we've seen three amazing hotels. David, that that slide into the pool, uh, into the sea. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. And I you can't also believe you've been on that, David. 
I've now got this image of you going down. Twice. Twice. Uh, so, you mentioned about a cardigan or you mentioned a fire pit and wine. The fire pit and wine every time for me, thank you. Yeah, you don't need you don't need the cardigan, especially if there's a whole gang of you. You can all squeeze in. It's it's good. But the slide, just in case anyone hasn't used a water slide, you can't sit up because your arse slows the speed down. So you got to lie flat, and then you go like a whatever into the water. That's out of hell. <laughs> Super amazing. Thank you. Well. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Amazing presentations from all of the team. Um, we appreciate you. So thank you very much for coming and taking the time today to showcase your amazing destination and your resorts. Uh, Victoria, do you have anything else to add? Just thank you so much for everyone's time. I will send out follow up with everybody's details on uh, myself, Raquel and Trina. I will send every uh, David, Anushka and Lee all of the information from everybody so they can follow up with you all individually as well. And if you need anything, we are here and, you know, we want to help you convert all of those bookings. Um, so please do reach out to us if you've got anything. Super, thank you very, very much, everybody. We will see you all very soon, hopefully in Tex and Caicos, because I want to yep. come with Victoria and me <laughs> too. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank Thanks you, everybody. Well. Thank Bye. you, everybody. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.